check out this piece of road guys check out these trees make you think like it's somewhere in Trinidad heading to Hope Song Beach looking to get some fish 59 degrees I hope we're lucky today nice drive nice view let me go get something I really want to try this fish bites thing that everybody's talking about and I can see water oceans looking nice and flat People in this parking lot here already this morning, but guys, it's 6:53 in the morning. Look at cars in this beach already. Place is cold. I don't know if all these people come here to fish this morning. What's up? Well, one way to know. Let's check it out. Guys, I'm gonna try this fish bites thing here today. Nice pink color. Hope I'm successful. The beach is getting packed. More and more people is coming in. I haven't seen any fish quarters yet. Sun is on the horizon. Hopefully, we get a little success. So I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'm trying. So let's hold tight and see what's going to happen. So guys, I'm here today at the uh, Hope Song Beach, fishing on the surf. You can see a lot of people. This is a very popular spot because they got a reef somewhere out there. So two bluefish caught already for the morning. I haven't caught anything yet. High tide supposed to be around nine, so got a nice chill in the air. It's about 59 degrees. Stick around. Target fish today is a pompano. Trying the fish bites. Using some cut sardines too and um hope for the best. Alright guys. Hold tight. Fish on guys. Big blues, big blues, big blue fish. Time for me to stick one. All 
right guys Uncle Leggies have a fish on there See what he got Bluefish Bluefish. I haven't got anything yet. I guess still fishing enough for me, but gotta keep on trying. Hold tight. So what's going on guys? So boy Jake. So I just left the um, Hoop Sun surf on the beach there. I'm actually here on Blue Heron. That's the Blue Heron Bridge there. That's Peanut Island right across there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see down in the water there. There's millions and millions of bait fish. There's some huge needle nose fish up there. I gotta make a couple casts, see what's gonna happen. Trying to get me a skipjack. Oh, there we go. There we go. So guys, this is what they call a skipjack. They're very huge. Very dangerous. People in Trinidad, they roast them. They call it sapate. Now, I didn't walk with the pliers, so... It's gonna be kind of tricky to get this out. There we go. Hope he survives. Let's try again. See if I got a blue runner this time. Now, if I knew how to clean it, I could have caught someone do the roasting. Oh, fish on, guys. Fish on. Don't know what it is. I just slammed this, this crappy jig from the bottom. It's giving me a little fight. Looks like a blue runner. That is what I wanted. Or it could be a big skipjack. Yep, it's a blue runner. So, since I went all the way to Hope Song, didn't catch anything. I'm gonna have to keep this one. Might fill it. Make some. Uh, fish strips you know let me leave it here see if I get two more so with this crappy jig all you do is cast it out count it three let it sink a little bit and just one two three jiggle it one two three jiggle two three one two three Come on, I need a mackerel. Mackerel? Any mackerel? Nope, more skipjack. Come on, get out of the way. It's 
skip jack number two. Self relief, that's what I wanted. That's the boner idea, guys, I'm talking about. Right on top, yeah. Very dangerous bone. It stings for days. I could throw him back up in the water without getting poked. All his scales are coming out. There he goes. If anyone know how to cook that, how to clean it and cook it, let me know. Maybe I can try it. Fish on again guys, fish on, skip jack number three, skip jack number three, jeez. Should I make a skip jack collection, sapate collection, come on self release, self release, guess not. He died yet, yep. Doesn't even have a rag with me to get this thing. Skip jack number five. And we go in. Well, let's roll skip jack. This afternoon. So there's a mixture of Sergeant Major, I think, skip jacks and blue runners. Right here. As you can see guys, I'm still foster park, you make a right, get in there, that's the park. Pretty cool to hang out. You can barbecue, have a family picnic under the bridge. Walk with your fishing poles, do a little bit of fishing. And I don't know. see if I get a shot of this. This captain or this guy or whatever, he's a little monument there. It's the boat and trailer parking only across there. You can dock your boat right there. You got a boat. Unfortunately, I don't got one, so I'm on my feet.
All right, guys. So I um just clean up the fish, season it up. So I really, really excited and tasting this um this leather jacket. It's smelling. It's almost smelling like shark. It have this gamey smell like a shark. Can't wait to taste it. So, got my oil hot in here. Got some egg. I'm gonna dip it in the egg and some flour. Pretty decent fillet I get from it for a small fish. And there we have it. It's in the oil. I uh, noticed one thing when I was filling this fish. That dangerous spiky bone that it has on top. I'm not seeing much in the meat itself. So one way to know is when I eat it. This is two fish, two small fish. I'm really excited to taste this. Saw a lot of videos on YouTube about fishing and catching fish. Guys, it smells like fried shark already. The big boy blue on our car and drive. Smelling great in here. Excuse my little tiny kitchen I got. But it is what it is. So stay tuned, guys, to taste this sapati or leather jacket. The caran grass, the blue runner, going in hole in the oil. I seem to be a very hot. Get in a nice golden brown color. Again. Heard about people roasting this fish back in Trinidad. Um, actually looked up YouTube. See if I can get any recipe. Oh, on Google. Nothing was found, so decide to uh, give it a shot. Try to do something on my own. All right, guys. Next caranga, next caranga, so blue runner. Fish almost bigger than the frying pan, though. 
Check it out, guys. Check it out. My car on grass here. Who came up aggressively and hit my crappy, crappy jig. Skipjack. Caught about seven of them. Bring home two of these guys. To try it out. Never saw anyone eating it. So. Going on. Um, put a lot of ketchup here. Swiss ketchup. Compliments. My girl Michelle. Saute. Of Saute barbecue. And some hot sauce from my boy Bobby. Compliments. Sound tech barbecue again. So now the part we've been waiting for. This is um blue runner or carangas. This is a fish they call sapati or leather jacket. Now I research on YouTube and Google. Yeah, I researched it on Google on YouTube and see if anyone ever cooked it before and I haven't found anything on it so Try it and let me know what you think. It's good? Yeah, fine. Do have any freshy taste on it there? Eh? Anything? No. Any bones in the middle of the meat? It has some fine bone, but nothing bad. Maybe in that piece, but I didn't get any fine bone on mine. I don't find it. So guys, I'm gonna take another piece of it. Tell you it tastes good. Back in Trinidad, if you're drinking lime in a bar, and you get this for appetizers or cutters, they're gonna enjoy it. Really tasty. Again. Love it. Until next time guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the adventure. Peace out. See you on the next video.